Bitcoin continues its sexified path to $100,000. Russia finds a link with crypto in the attack on Moscow that claimed 140 lives. And we have an altcoin that's not even released yet, not out to the public, giving you the early alpha here on the blockchain basement. We are the bread and butter of all the information that's been swimming across the internet for crypto news. If you're going to um, screw me, at least pull my hair. Yeah. Hell yeah. What do you got? Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. They could start chopping off fingers. They're yeah. like, give me your seed phrase, but That's, yeah. I don't know it. Over two years, he's made like 17K on I'm Roblox. What? Like 12. Yeah. You never listen to me, and we must be married. Yeah, well, how much are you investing? $100. Four to 600000 The think generational so signals are now. Do you now. Think you're spread so thin, that's how you get in on Snake. Snake's been okay. my biggest winner. This is where your votes are heard. I say we put up a poll in the chat. Should Meanless be a mod himself? Introduce chaos right into the center of the sun or not? We need that poll up immediately, Owen. Uh, the people are out for Owen's head today because we're running a little late. We're running a little late. We are, you to check out Rumble, are you typing though. in the, uh, the poll? Yeah, I and it, I'm I waiting it. for it. I'm watching his fingers. It, it. You know, I'm looking at it. Oh, Hannah's doing it. I got it. I got All right. You, Hannah caught the mm -hmm. hack within 30 seconds yesterday. She literally saw it live time happen. Oh, um, Hannah was the hack. Absolutely. That's on the, where my Solana went. On the watch. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah no. I don't know. Just, how wait, so I wasn't supposed to send just, my Solana? Thing? No. Didn't, and when you see a post like that, never send your stuff. But Hannah, I they, appreciate you. They for got back that. in the account like three times. I don't know how. It's they pretty sketchy. That. Yeah. Pretty sketchy. Turn on your um, everybody. Protect your accounts. Take yeah. take measures. Security is important. Yeah. I mean, what was it? It was like send your money for something. It was like send Solana to this address. Like, have you ever seen that on Twitter? You Don't should just know. send your damn. You coin. It's your fault if you send your money somewhere. Right. You scammed yourself. It's either going to be a rug pull shit project or it's going to be a literal just flat out scam. If you see that coming out on Twitter, so please, for the love of God, have it, some, here's some help for that. you guys. Actually, what's that? Solana needs a good uh, bootstrapping protocol. For actually raising funds for those projects really yeah like a transparent one there's one coming out okay yeah it's called okay. one intro one inch rope one intro oh one intro yeah, number one and then intro okay and there is the token released yet no it's okay. launching soon but it's okay. a liquidity bootstrapping platform coming to solana so that'll kind of like yeah make sure the liquidity is there those raises you know that's very good yeah no it's, it's gonna be if we we think we've seen meme coins go nuts i mean yeah you're gonna see tens of thousands of meme coins uh -oh. of garbage created every day julio um, called it who orchestrated that? it was it tim to get back at nick <laughs> <laughs> dude people were going off on tim's thighs dude that guy can probably squat a literal vehicle <laughs> <laughs> um yeah no joke but it was a good healing moment in the uh basement we had recently you know a bunch of idiots oh man uh think that we're actually fighting here in hit network you are wrong we actually have a hell of a good time here let me restart my computer unbelievable this thing keeps breaking on me a bunch of tech stuff going on today owen what'd you do did you break everything the hackers, they're on also course. we need proof of life of owen just to make sure that i'm not touching the buttons with my toes let me see you <laughs> Yeah, you got to do it. You are buttoned up today. You have to show them your face. Come on. You're looking smart, Look at this. Bro. Look at this. Oh my God. Yes, he's coming. He's coming. Do it. Do it. He, do it. Yeah. He's like, he's, a like, smile. he's like the best looking humble guy. Uh, uh, he's like he's like a uh, beautiful man. He's like, I don't want to show my face. Yeah. Why? Come on. Um, I need Rumble <laughs> Owen. Uh, Nicole Minnis, I think that uh, Rumble is working right now. So I, I was able to Let put up a, a message on there. But let's get it right into the news, you guys. There's a lot of stuff going on. There's a lot of stuff to cover today. And I just wanted to start it off with this heartwarming story uh, that really will throw you off here uh, from Bitcoin News. 
Saying Bitcoin changes lives. Let's have a listen. Mm -hmm. Let's have a go. Why don't you go to shelter? Because me and her, um, she has separation anxiety okay. and PTSD, so she has somebody to be there for when she goes to sleep. So you're also pregnant. Yeah, you're, you're pregnant out yeah. here. Yeah. Why can't you go into the shelter? It's just the. I can't really couple. sleep without him. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. and they're you said they're full. The shelter's full. Yeah, most of them have waiting lists. And there, there are churches. Is there anywhere that will take churches you? Churches won't really take you unless somebody's there and you can't sleep there at night. So you have no options except to sleep out here. Really go if we have a tent. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, are you and you're leaving? You said you're leaving. Yeah. Where are you guys gonna go? Uh, we're gonna move states. We're gonna go to Kansas. You're going to Kansas mm -hmm. to like start a new life? Yeah, really though. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's in Kansas? I got a house down there. Oh, yeah. you have a house in Kansas? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're going to go down there right now. Mm -hmm. You just bought it? Yeah, I'm excited, bro. Oh, how would you buy a house <laughs> in Kansas from here? Bitcoin. Bitcoin. Hey! <laughs> no, for real. How much did you make on Bitcoin? About 500000 Shut the fuck up. But it's just in Bitcoin. I haven't withdrawn it yet. So you have a half a million dollars in a Bitcoin account that you just bought a house. Yep. Bought it, and you're going to Kansas. Yep. And you're living in a tent right now. Yeah, that's why we're just giving away our stuff. <laughs> Aww. What? Wait, this is the shit. It's all about right here, man. Hey, you know what's actually sad um, though? He's gonna sell all his Bitcoin just before it has. Well, you know, I mean, he's he can afford a house though, bro. You see how big of a change it's gonna make for him right now with five hundred thousand dollars. You know what I mean? He can rent for you. Yo, if I have five hundred thousand dollars, <laughs> like, Leo, yeah. come on. Let them. I mean, pump. Well, wait, wait, been, wait, wait, wait. They've been in the bear market. This, this points yeah. to um, something very huge in the market. Some people yeah. say, "Why would anybody ever sell?" We have a supply chain issue, uh, or essentially, there's going to be lack of supply, supply shock. The truth is, there's at every price point, there's somebody willing to sell. Sometimes mm, it's so. for fear. Sometimes it's for hope. Sometimes it's because it's like, hey, I don't have anywhere to live, but I have. Can you imagine that? Dude. I don't have anywhere to live, but I have 500 grand in Bitcoin. Yeah. We're going to Kansas. It makes sense for them to sell, <laughs> yes. right? So even when we get to 100,000, why? If we know it's going to 300 or a million over, there's always going to be somebody that's incentivized to sell. Dude, and, I agree. you know, chaos for the ant is sometimes normalcy for the spider. You know what I mean? Maybe he got in much, much cheaper and he's been just highly convicted, maybe living in a tent for who knows how long, really grinding it out. Bitcoin is now flirting with numbers pretty well above its previous all-time high. And uh, I don't blame the guy for one second for making the move, buying a house outright in Kansas. Absolute G work. Shout out to everyone in the chat, though. Uh, my God, Meanless is literally about to get elected onto the moderator board right now. We have a 61% vote saying yes for Meanless. I will say Meanless, <laughs> if you become a mod, it's a very heavy responsibility. And sometimes you're going to need to mod yourself. Mm. No, know that yeah i mean he, god imagine the oohs like you the, we imagine. can't let the oohs just take over you imagine know what i mean my god oohs. nicole minister is like no nah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, i just i just did my weekly dca what'd you do i got uh 2200 i put into uh i put half of it into tia because tia still Celestia. hasn't been moving yeah yeah. yeah 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 uh it's actually a little bit down from where my entry was a mm -hmm. few weeks, about a month ago and I've been wanting to get SEI say because it's been just chopping sideways. Yeah. So I put uh, the other half of that, which okay. is uh, in, into that. So. Going to say and uh, say and Tia. Say and Tia. Yeah, I have some Tia. You're right. It hasn't been performing uh, very heavily. This is SEI, kind of that uh, little brother to Sui. And yeah, I mean, it's really hasn't gone too nuts yet. Obviously, at the bottom is sitting around eleven cents. You're sitting at 87 cents right now, so that's, I mean, the seven, you know, six X so far. But market cap, 2.3 bill. There's a little room to move. Um, Kelly, you've been pretty much killing it with the uh, uh, bags you built. I, I remember you built those bags a few months ago, if I'm not mistaken. They were absolutely 7th. killing it. Uh, yeah. March 7th. There yeah, you go. I'm up like I'm up like 50 Gs. There it is. Uh, and this Jeez, is no man. leverage. This is all spot. Right? Spot, hey, dude, uh, but you don't need leverage to really kill it. You and know by the I mean? way, like, there's a, I'll tell you right now, my restraint was I, right now, there's a couple uh, much smaller coins. I'm talking like, you know, sub sub 1 billion, you know, sub 500 million, mm -hmm. that I, part of me, the degen in me is like, oh, you should add to that. But I was like, you know what? My I was looking at my portfolio allocation uh, this morning and I was like, man, I'm starting to get pretty heavy, <laughs> even though it's all a bunch of them. You know, it's like, it's starting, if you just look at the allocation of all the, like the high risk plays, it yeah. was starting to get to a bit, like a 30%, so I was like, you know what? Today I'm going to DCA into some mid, uh, larger mid cap, okay, uh, okay, sort of coins in the in the sixty to forty sort of range on the coin market cap. Yeah, because um, I still want risk. 
Yeah. But I want it to be manageable risk. I get that. I get that. And that's kind of the big question, you know, are we going after the larger market cap coin still at this point? We've seen Bitcoin giving up literally no ground. I mean, uh, you know, I was talking about this for the last few weeks. It's been interesting to see a bunch of uh, kind of really good crypto analysts coming out, looking at the same thing with us, uh, basically just mirroring what we went through in uh, the 2017 peak above the uh, previous all-time high, a little bit of slapping around before a nasty good move to the upside. And I've seen that really uh, kind of be noticed by a lot more people. I do feel that that's uh, really tangibly what we're looking at here, but where we go from here is the big uh, golden question, you know, and I really oh. feel like $100,000, um, it's it's really a question of if we're going to hit it before the halving or not. You want to um, see something great? What's that? Go to the total three. Total three. All right. On trading view. Yeah. Maybe by the way, you don't have hell. to go over there. All oh, you have God. to do is click on the chart. Okay. Click on the chart. Not oh, on the God. chart. Just click on the chart. All right. Fine. Now type T O T. <laughs> T O T. See, it just starts pulling it up. T O T. You do this to me every day. What? Total three. Yeah. Let's see. Top three. What is I was, it? I was just saying, as soon as you start typing, it pulls up the search symbol. Uh, there you uh, go. This one. Total three. What is this? This one. Three. Three. Yeah. This is. This is the altcoins, everything minus Bitcoin, oh. Ethereum. Uh, go to the, like, now Now just press 4H. Oh, my God. There you okay. go. Man with the shortcuts. There. What? Now, look at this. Now, double click on the right side where all the, the numbers are. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Double click. It goes to auto mode. There you go. <gasps> Holy you shit. Make a tutorial. Dude, you. this is a live tutorial. Dude, a tutorial. Right. I have a tutorial. Nobody yeah. ever watches that shit. They ask me how to do stuff. It's on there. My number one phrase in this market. If you want to succeed, be ambitiously curious. But yeah, if you have the BitLab Academy videos page, I have a whole tutorial. Wow. 12 minutes. What's the title? Uh, yeah, what is uh, the title? Uh, Trading View tutorial. <laughs> it's on the actual BitLab Academy website too, or like the it's, actual It's free. Channel. It's on my channel. Yeah. yeah, it's in the Daily Alpha. The real BitLab Academy. Yeah. Yeah. The real and only BitLab Academy. Yeah. But if you look, if you uh, like, like scroll in so okay. you can make that wide. There you go. Look at that beautiful, either inverse head and shoulders or cup and handle. This is that when we break through that, those two double upper levels of resistance, yeah. that's essentially the gateway to the next alt run. Okay. We are okay. setting up for some moves. Dude, baby. you just taught me like three or four different things in yeah. like 30 seconds. You guys got to check out the his Kelly channel, effect, man. Yeah. He, he He's always dropping the alpha, um, especially on how to use these damn, you know, because you know me, I'm Hillbilly TA. Oh, did, did you drop it in there? Yeah. Um, yeah there awesome. you go. Perfect. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, essentially I've been uh, just of the opinion we are going to be setting up for a situation where $100,000 is the next move. Probably going to run into a ton of resistance once we get there, though. So just expect that. Expect chaos. And uh, yeah, so that's where the markets are at large. Let's keep going into the news here. I got a lot of stuff. Dave Portnoy mm. conversation yeah. with Michael Saylor about a potential interview. Uh, Dave Portnoy famously sold the bottom of Bitcoin. Michael Saylor walks around with a wheelbarrow carrying his nads. And, uh, you know, these are two very different people in terms of crypto coming to a potential interview, both with massive audiences. I think Dave Portnoy's audience is farther away from crypto, obviously, than Sailor's is. So this is very healthy to get this information out to the masses about what is really happening with this gigantic transformation of wealth to the regular person. So I was pretty damn excited to see Portboy uh, conversating with Port Sailor. Boy. And if you want to protect your nads, Click the link in our description here. Uh, we have a discount uh, basement on the uh, description. I'll open this up. Oh, God, unbelievable. Uh, go ahead here, code basement. You can click the link and uh, support the channel. Absolutely awesome company that keeps your nuts uh, from getting covered in chemicals that will shrivel them up and make you die. Did you uh, see, la uh, it was earlier this week, I believe, there is a clip of uh, the CEO of Block. Hmm. Talking with Jim Cramer. CEO of Block talking with Jim Cramer. No, I did and not. And Jim Cramer, in this interview, talk about flip-flop to the max. Whoa, really? Jim Cramer, and it goes, he's, he's, he basically, they're talking about all kind of things that Block's doing and Cash App and all this kind of stuff. And he yeah. goes, he starts, he moves into like a, a little bit of a crypto uh, question. And he goes, no, you know, all of us, you know, we hear, we, we like Bitcoin. We think Bitcoin is a great store of value. Yeah. Yeah, all of a sudden. This He's trying to throw us off of the indicator. He's trying <laughs> this not to mother make it clucker, so easy. This mother clucker 
was telling people that Bitcoin is basically was at the end of its road. garbage. It was like going down four months ago, and yeah. now he's now he, now it's like, hey, Bitcoin. Maybe he just got tired of people like doing literally the exact opposite of what he precisely did. So now he's just going to be on both sides of the fence. So no one knows where the hell mm -hmm. to go from there. I mean, yeah. you know, just comes to mind. Uh, just part of the massive amount of stories today. Um, <coughs> We have BlackRock CEO Larry Fink saying spot Bitcoin ETF is the fastest growing ETF in history. Very bullish on this uh, ETF in the long term, I'd imagine. So this relates to the graphs we showed at the beginning of the week that are just they're not meme coins. They're literally when BlackRock moved into uh, Bitcoin and it absolutely dwarfs MicroStrategy's uh past history about how much bitcoin they're allocating into this uh you know market so you guys haven't seen nothing yet this is the stuff of uh, that i've been dreaming of for a long time more than half a decade you know we have the regulatory clarity we have the trillions of dollars from large asset managers available and moving tangibly into bitcoin before our eyes yes it's a slightly on faucet right now but as this word spreads you can only in my opinion expect an exponential increase in that so you know staying focused over the next uh you know half year years time frame and then knowing when to sell setting your goals for what kind of home you want to get what are your goals it's needing to happen now so you have that mental framework put together to get ready for it um and this is you know why if you ever questioned why you rent your living space to invest in bitcoin during the bull rather than real estate the price of a home in U.S. dollars compared to Bitcoin is very, very different. And now, in my mm -hmm. opinion, you got to have a place of your own. I like having, you know, the uh, idea of, pay of fully paid off house is more preferable to me. But a lot of people disagree with me on that, thinking that they could just keep using the uh, debt system and being part of the problem. You do you, boo. But <laughs> 2016, $288,000 average price for a home. That was 664 Bitcoin at the time. 2020. 328 so the increase is pretty substantial there between four years on a house but the uh amount of bitcoin that you needed to get that same home drastically reduced down to 45 bitcoin now here we are average price four hundred thirty four thousand dollars, and you only need six bitcoin that's where you get the savages in the woods that yeah i got five hundred thousand dollars on my phone right now i'm moving to kansas and it's fully paid off because i got bitcoin instead so you know just for the love of God, this is the it's a very important time to be watching this stuff. Um, and this was great to see. FTX founder Sam Bankman Fried sentenced to 25 years in prison for crypto fraud. Uh, good stuff here. Uh, Hannah, is Ooh. Sam going to drop the soap? Um, he doesn't take showers. That's a good point. Mm -hmm. That's a really, really good point. Second question. Is the next meme coin going to be Shank? Shank. 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 Is he talking about Shank? If he mentions the word Shank, I, I even me mentioning it's probably going to do something, but I could see Shank or some kind of prison item on Solana. Absolutely. Soap mooning. on a rope. Soap on a rope on Solana. Hmm. You know what I mean? This is, you're talking about narrative trading, be, Leo. This is narrative well, trading. It would, it would be, so, you know what? Bro. Soap on a rope would be sore. Oh no. <laughs> Let's create this now. <laughs> I bet there's some devs in the comments right now yeah, cooking it up for you. Yeah. My, my address is. Uh, yeah, we'll all take 1% of the supply each. Please. Oh Thank my you. God. Uh, and sore? Sore. <laughs> we'll be That's watching great. out for that. Can we he's in already in a gang, so, so yeah, he's <laughs> safe. The gold doge says. The gold doge probably feeling good. Doge, like trying to move to the moon, reach 20 cents. Um, yeah, I'm going to be watching for Shank Token. I'm going to be watching for Soap on a Rope Sore <laughs> Token. That's an excellent pick. By the end of today. Deep pick. Right. These are picks that might not even exist right now, but Is we're talking them into a. G lock. That's another. I was thinking G lock. That would my, be a good ticker just in general. My question to you guys is: Would you take billions of dollars for twenty-five year sentence, but you only have to serve eighty-five percent of it? No, I 85? mean I wouldn't commit fraud. No, time is the most valuable fraud. resource, man. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't I'm just asking. Scam. That's the deal out there. He's yeah. made billions of dollars. He, he sold his soul. Yeah. I know he did, yeah. and no, I don't think so. Um, and plus, he did much more than that. He was trying to fund COVID round two. He bought out uh, influential. Uh, you know, stake in the highly questionable election that just happened. 
Um, and yeah, C90 FTW bringing up this is America. You only serve 50% of that time. Johnny was thinking he's probably going to do about 20 years. I think um, it is 80. I, I thought I saw he has to serve 85%. Dude, spread, top ramen. Holy shit. Simp, Sam in money prison. This is so spread wonderful. Spread with a, with an image of two <sighs> legs. The oh. sky's the limit with these ideas. You talk about narrative trading. Here it is, baby. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? What's that? Fuzzy? That's what you used to call him, right? Ooh, yeah. Fuzzy. fuzzy. The fuzzy haired bandit. Fuzzy haired um, bandit. Yeah. He's incredible. <laughs> um, yeah. We can make something happen with you. What this, about? This might be the start of the next one. What about of HMP <laughs> token? I can see it in the comments. HMP token. Hold my pocket. I'm just telling you. Watch out for it. Hold, I mean, my, hold my pocket. Uh, when brave. Mike Tython, <laughs> uh, Tython on Solana was like going nuts. It was crazy. It's obviously a meme coin. It's probably going to go to zero. Tython. Um, Tython. So right? funny. Yeah. Tython. <laughs> So here, now let's get more serious. What's actually going on in the markets? Coinbase wallet triumph over SEC allegations is a giant win for DeFi. This is a slap in the face to the SEC, and they're trying to oversee, oversee DeFi at large. In my opinion, U.S. District Judge Catherine Falia, don't care if I'm mispronouncing that, denied Coinbase's bid to dismiss the SEC lawsuit, finding it sufficiently pleaded the Coinbase was unlicensed and the crypto staking offered was unregistered securities. The judge also determined that the SEC failed to allege that Coinbase conducted brokerage activity through Coinbase Wallet, its self-custody crypto wallet app that gives users full control of the assets. It's not just that Coinbase won, but for the basis for it, Rosenberg emphasized, he explained that Coinbase helping wallet users find token prices doesn't mean it's acting as a broker by routing or making recommendations. Ooh, ah, I like that. I like these little specificities that Coinbase is being, uh, you know, very specific about when they, it's almost like Coinbase knew that this lawsuit was coming at large. And this feels like a trap that the SEC has basically fallen into. Um, if I'm just reading this forced to the trees, that's what my assessment is of the situation. Plus the side op to keep the large republic away from crypto as it's getting ready to go to the moon law firm wilkie far and gallagher partners mike selig what a word salad said in an ex post on coinbase wallet dismissal was a significant setback for the sec sec aimed to discourage builders from developing peer-to-peer -peer software didn't work so mm -hmm. eat that gary take that one this one gets weird so russia says evidence links the concert hall attackers to Ukrainian nationalists, but there's a crypto twist to this, um, and I'm sure that we're going to hear a lot of FUD from uh, large policymakers about this in the coming months. Russian investigators said on Thursday they had uncovered evidence that the gunman who killed more 140 people in an attack on a concert hall near Moscow last week were linked to Ukrainian nationalists. In a statement, the state investigative committee said the first time that it had uncovered evidence of a Ukrainian link, while it described the nature of the alleged evidence, it did not publish it. It said the attackers received a significant amount of cash and cryptocurrency for and that the another another suspect involved in the terrorist financing had been detained. The United States has publicly warned before the concert shooting that it received intelli intelligence of a possible attack by extremists in Russia. So that was pretty uh, weird to see America kind of warn all of us uh, here in the U.S., but they put a global warning out right before this happened. Then it happens, the attackers are paid in a combination of crypto and fiat, probably much more fiat than crypto, but, you but I guarantee funny? you they're going to use this as a that, talking point. That's it. They're going to be like, they funded it, it. It's like, really? They I paid know. 70 or 80% in fiat. Let's, let's well, go. They, they, we, the reason why we feel like that is because 99.9% .9 of all crime financing happens through fiat, mm -hmm. and it's much less traceable than crypto. So um the fact that this was ver uh, verified by russia but the details haven't come out does not surprise me but i will expect to see elizabeth pocahontas warren dancing on a stage trying to convince the mass public that crypto is for terrorists yeah, so but wasn't it also crypto that was used to actually raise funds for ukraine at the start of the war as well right well i mean so both like, sides. you can't have both sides of it like, yeah, they're gonna, it, but they're gonna they're going to do it anyway and, but. you know crypto is just another avenue there of course they're gonna open up the crypto availability for too some people only have a ton of money in crypto you know so yeah. they want if someone wants to donate you know whichever side that they're on um, you're from the UK. Shit's getting a little weird. Are you still living out there? Uh, I'm a bit of a nomad right now. Are you really? Just flying around. Okay. Going okay. wherever I want. Yeah, it's, you're kind of keeping... It's very much what you do in a bull market, keep, I think. Well, and World War Three too. You yeah, know? well, um, I'm prepping. Yeah. I, I can understand that. You're 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 flying around kind of... I, uh, I have, I I have one for goal that. for this bull run. What's I think that? Hannah has a similar one as well. I want to have, a, a, by the end of it, a big house, and I'm building a bunker. Hey! 
But it's gonna be it'll be like a man cave, but it's a bunker. I like you. What if we did the opposite? I like you. What if we yeah. spent the five hundred yeah. G's on building the sickest like tree house in the forest? The opposite then, of that guy. No, because no. that's gonna underground. get attacked. So the I need crypto something bunker. underground. We should all make this happen, dude. Yeah. I bet you we could come up with a couple mil and we could make this happen. Yeah. I want water, water, water systems. Oh my God. Moat. You could be the queen of the moat. You guys, hold I on. Want an hold ammo on. tower. <laughs> hold on. I, I want an ammo tower that With I can nerf. go inside of. An yeah. ammo tower? An ammo, well, like like, so fort. you want a, a place where you can shoot. Well, dude, a we're going to need. So what you're saying is you want a castle. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, check uh, this out, you guys. We need tanks too. Okay. Did we, miss, did, we, did we miss? Somebody said we missed our $5 super chat. Oh, what? Did we miss a super chat, Owen? What? Uh, dude, let me know if um, if we missed. Yeah, we did. Chat, we missed it. What's we it? missed it from it Cali Crypto, dude. Okay. I'm about to sell 5k worth of XRP. What should I dump it yep. in for the Ooh, next year? I'm tired of bullish. seeing all of these other coins go green and XRP is slumped. Bro, I am literally in the exact same situation with you, but I have about 2k left. I dumped 90 percent of my tokens months and months ago, and I am literally right in that mindset with you. Before I go on a rant about what type of tank I'm gonna buy. We're going to think about if you got XRP, like me, like Cali Crypto, dude, got a little left over. Not going to lie. I got like a couple thousand tokens. What are we going into? Velo is already ripping. We talked about Velo yesterday and, uh, you know, it's part of the whole Aero uh, realm. Well, Let's not only, not only that, it's the same developer as Aerodrome, mm -hmm. but here's the deal. Aerodrome pumped pretty massively, one, because it's a great project on base, mm -hmm. but it also got a lot of $100 million uh, purchased uh, uh, off market uh, from Coinbase Ventures of Aerodrome. Yeah. In a similar fashion, we have to understand that Optimism just put out a $3.3 billion grant program for projects that are building on optimism yeah velodrome is a is the dex that's building on optimism so i uh, this is speculation but one could assume especially with them being in the spotlight that they may uh you know get some of that funding um so if you need uh, to make the move now though it sounds mm. like we're making this immediate and, and, uh, and, and velodrome's is, pumping though so i know that's i wouldn't the problem. Say, i wouldn't say roll your entire wad of, here's a good one pit tensor bit yeah, tensor's bit tensor's a great one there we go because this one is gonna, this is gonna be one of the top AI dogs, in my opinion. Um, this is one of the top AI dogs. It's shaved off ten percent on the week, and this came out of nowhere. It yeah. felt like because, well, no, it didn't come out of nowhere. Well, no, I was watching it, but it was surprising. But like three months ago, I wasn't even, I never even heard of it. Now it's got a right. three point three billion dollar market cap. Right, and this thing, you I know, I mean, markets. I remember I was like all excited about just the tech and the potentials of it around like 50, 40 bucks. It's a much different game now, but as you can see, it's had a couple of prove it points. It fell down to this original stumble too, proved itself there, and has moved on up to I its like next healthy term. shelf. Prove it points. Yeah, prove it points. You Dude, know, like prove it, you're worth I'm it. I'm learning you know? stuff today too, man. That's well, and it's like it's in a a project needs to prove that they actually has people that believe in it. You know, mm -hmm. and that they're going to hold that line, hold that level, and just accumulate more. You can know. I, can I read a comment? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Um. Um. Um, I haven't <coughs> seen this much FUD on a crypto since Solana was seven dollars. What with XRP? Yeah. Uh, bro, X, X, Solana was like eight dollars, seven dollars for a very short amount of time. XRP. Let's just get some context here, guys. Um, I just want to say, <laughs> let's I, get some context I, here. I, I actually come from a position. I was on the show this morning upstairs. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I come from a position where I've actually like built on the XRPL, so I have a pro an NFT project on the XRPL. I'm not fudding XRP. XRP has its intrinsic value and its intrinsic utility. Mm. But the XRPL is where they're falling apart because they're not supporting the builders on top of it. And I'm not talking about NFT projects. I'm talking about like the, the NFT platforms on there um, and other p uh, projects that are built yeah, on top of the XRPL. But, yeah, there's no funding. Yeah. There is no support. Um, the XRP and the XRP Foundation are literally lying about the volume going through the ecosystem. What? Yeah, it's it's crazy. Like enough for like these projects. These are the biggest projects on the XRPO, and they're even coming out saying that's not true. Oh sheep. Sheep. And the fact is, this is a fact with XRP guys is volume going through the XRPO ecosystem was larger during the bear market than it is now. Oh my god. Because they don't support it. So it's not so much fudding XRP. It's about let's make some... Like, I mean, it's better than the US swear, dollar over the last... I mean, it's it's almost like a stable coin is what it feels like. I mean, that tiny little blip right there is when it got the regulatory clarity. Yep. It's not a security on the secondary exchange right there. That tiny little... Uh, what is that? Like a... Bloop. 
Uh, I don't even want to say what it's called about a to deviation. Say. That's a deviation, right? <laughs> um, it's got higher lows just over a you know the larger time frame. Yeah, I mean, sure. I think that you know it can capture if the war the rest of the market crushes it two bucks okay that's all i got for you guys i'm like if you want to save two and a half x or something like that there you go i mean this is your deep pick on that side and also the big news story today with the one of the major developers oh, basically yeah. well, he was coming major, leo was coming in like crazy major major supporter uh, supporting member of the community yeah, it's like i'm point. done with this shit yeah. and he, no. he washed his it's hands not like, good wow. that's my man. point it's not a good look and like i want to I, I want my fellow people in crypto at large to succeed, but I do just have this insane worry in my gut that people are going to be left on the sidelines if they stay in that cult mentality. That's why we got to be looking at new stuff. You know what I mean? And on Velodrome, they're asking, what should we move into? Like my immediate thought is like Ondo or uh, uh, Aerodrome or Velodrome, these new, uh, I mean, like base type projects is a big, big deal that we're fading right now. Hard. And, and, um, and anything I would say, honestly, not anything, but nearly anything that has a lot of people talking about it in the BRC 20 narrative, mm -hmm. I think, oh, I, absolutely. I don't think it's going to move immediately. You might have to wait a month or two or yeah. even four months. Uh, but once it starts moving, it's going to move like if. Well, already swap is at a pretty good grab mm -hmm. spot right now. Yeah. I mean, that's nice to see. Um, I think that there is another one. I want to keep going. I'll I know that this uh, stacks a little bit calmer, you know, 345. It's it's potentially at its current prove it point. Uh, it's, you know, it's essentially trying to build this as the new layer of support. Um, I was debating when I was just DCA'd in a few minutes ago. Yeah. I was debating, uh, do I want to add to stacks or do I, I want to, uh, and I, I, you know what? Well, and deeper than stacks, but connected is Alex Labs. I have Alex. Um, I, I DCA'd into that about four or five days ago. Yeah. This Alex, is a good Alex one. and Mint Layer, I, I got. And look at that. I mean, look at how healthy it proved itself on that shelf. Absolutely moving there, but even deeper. So we go another step further into Bitcoin DeFi. Let's check out Daiko. I think I have to go Drew, to Coin Gecko here. I forgot that I had chicken wings for lunch. I just stuck my finger in my eye. Ooh, <laughs> bullish. Um, All right, let's see here. Daiko. <laughs> All right. You know, a little pain is good for you. Oh, yeah. Um, I had my neighbor that I kind of ranted at and I admitted that, you know, I got a little heated. I got angrier than I've been it in was more funny. than a decade, but he, I woke up this morning and he put up a temporary fence exactly where I wanted it himself without saying a damn word. <laughs> and I feel heard. I feel heard. No one has gotten me. He watches that the show. Up. No, he doesn't. He's like, he's such a crotchety old son of a bitch. <laughs> he doesn't uh, watch the show at all. Um, but, you know. He probably doesn't know what YouTube he is. He doesn't even know what YouTube is. Yeah. I mean, he's like, you know, he's a, he builds race cars and he's very, very stubborn. And I've really tried to be a friend of this guy for years. And I just, he went after my wife and, you know, he, he awoken something in me that I haven't seen awake in quite a while. But I woke up this morning. He, he did it himself. So thank you. Thank you. He gay. Is, he is watching. Gay. Um, let's see here. Aaron Dyko. I oh, God, that was a quick rant. Um, Dyko is the next step within the stacks, Alex labs realm, Eric Arca Dico. Um, but the ticker is Dyko. It doesn't have it on coin market cap. You got to go to coin gecko to check it out. Um, this might actually be my next good move. It's down on the 30 day. It's well suppressed right now. I'm not buying this gigantic green candles built this little healthy shelf. And it is probably going to look real similar to Alex. You know, you so, know what this begs the question while he's still doing this. What's that? I, I want to ask everybody in the chat. This is a community thing, right? Everybody in the chat. If you have ear balls, uh, ears, ears <laughs> listening and eyeballs that mm. can see the screen and fingers at work, type in the chat, the last three things that you bought, or if, if you're buying today, what are the projects that you've been layering into? I'm curious no. to see what everybody's been My getting. wife hit me up. She was thinking ICP might be all right to grab even more of today. I mean, we already are pretty well exposed to ICP. It did fall down to 1763, um, but BitTensor, man, I haven't had a chance to look at a 500-something dollar BitTensor in, uh, it feels like a long time. I, ICP is just ranging right now between yeah. like 12 well, to It had a little bucks. bit of a breakout, man. Like It hit $21 yesterday, I believe um you know yeah. but right i mean that's a move uh, this is just the monthly view that's the uh yearly on it and here's where i backed the truck up right about there got dumb and it gave me you know it just reinstated one of my uh the strongest convictions i do believe this product's going to completely confuse people by the gains it's going to gather 
But, you know, if we're looking at what to grab, you know, if you have concerns about XRP holdings like I do, I'm looking at BitTensor, I'm looking at Bitcoin Layer 2s, potentially even Pyth Network shaving off a 4% on the seven day there. And you know, Celestia, reasonable, you know, it's a very hot new crypto project down 2% just on the week. And then uh, Ordi. Um, so, you know, I'm mm. seeing some opportunity in the next generation of Bitcoin. Um, but then, uh, obviously, Aerodrome and Vela. But we got to wait till things calm down a little bit on those things. I mean, I think Aerodrome, on, I mean, okay, maybe not. I mean, Aerodrome, I feel like, is going to be well capable of a $10 billion market cap. And we're sitting at a $250 million market cap right now, currently for this project. Base liquidity layer for base. Uh, talking about it on the basement it just all fits it all fits together like a puzzle um it just feels right man 22 days so. until the halving 22 days until the halving hey, too what yeah. day is it uh, now you do know 420 we see we see a dump at the time of the halving um historically yeah. historically historically we did I was, I was showing that one but in, we've been also never had this variable of yeah. trillions of dollars yeah, running institutions in, so, okay holding that up you know best this is the, I, I can't believe I'm telling you all this because mm. it's such a great hook in the video I'm putting out Saturday. Oh, I did an interview it. yesterday with Mark Yusko. Did you? He was, okay. was one of my favorite people in the space. So smart. He's CEO of uh, uh, Morgan Creek Capital. But he told me, and I never really thought about it. Do you all realize all these trillions of dollars that we know are on the sidelines that we're going to get some percentage of coming into Bitcoin over the next, you know, 10, 15 years? Yeah. Uh, the price of what we're at right now. What is the what is the market cap of Bitcoin right now? Uh, it's one point three trillion. So one point three trillion is the market cap of Bitcoin right now. Yeah. Do you realize roughly about only three hundred billion dollars worth of, of U.S. dollars worth of fiat valued uh, in three hundred billion dollars has moved into Bitcoin? Really? That's all. Yeah, because of the when you buy and there's you know you, the price goes up. The ex, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The, the, ex, uh, the whatever it's called, the exponential. Uh, the order it, books get cooked. If right. You keep so the, it like only that. 300 billion has trans transferred from a fiat that's worth $300 billion yeah. has made a 1.3, 1.6, whatever it is, trillion dollar uh, market cap. What's going to happen when we truly start to see the huge flood. And we just saw on the, on discover crypto today and on BitLab, I've been sharing it for about a week, about 90, 90, there's about $86 billion dollars, in the last six months has come in from institutions. Yeah. So nearly a third of all money that's ever entered Bitcoin has come in in the last six months. Are you not bullish yet? Right. I and, mean, and I feel like that's the faucets half on or like a quarter on. They're oh. not even fully flowing yet. You know yeah. what I mean? And they see the gains they're making quickly on it. Um, yeah, this is insane. Now, here's a token that I am keeping dry powder on the side for because the token's not released. If you're in on the Discord, link in the description, you heard it there first. But here we go live on the uh, channel here. X swap, cross chain swapping powered by Chainlink. CCIP mm. is now live. Thrilled to unveil the flagship product, which un un which redefines how users navigate the world of DeFi. Say hello to beta version of the cross chain swapping, a cutting edge solution designed to break down barriers between blockchains and revolutionize asset exchange. Powered by industry standard Chainlink infrastructure, we've created something that will change the space. This is just another damn reason why not only Chainlink, but if this token releases and we get access to X Swap, we are, I am backing the whole Bro, damn truck up for this. And I just want to say, because I got excited about this when I heard about it, I yeah. went and started looking around. Do not go and buy something based on a name, buy something based on your diligence. The reason I say that, yeah. this is a great project. There is an existing old Dude, X swap. And they're total token. scams. Look at this. Yeah. X swap are these ones. Yeah. If you just type this in and click on, these are like literal hack connect. Like if you try to go to these websites, it will try to hack you. Like it happened to me, I think, on this IX swap. Um, because I went through this one first. These are not it, man. So just be extremely careful. You have to go to the actual Twitter, uh, where the hell did that thing go? Uh, there it is. So the Twitter specifically at xswap underscore link, and then it this will is have, crazy. yeah, this is gonna Powered be revolutionary. I, I did Elon... wanna say there are two different projects because there's one that is a C swap mm. and X swap. So yeah. X swap is actually, I believe partnered in some way or form with Chainlink themselves. Yeah. yeah. Uh, C swap is another, you know, 
interoperability protocol using CCIP, but it's not partnered with Chainlink. Do yeah. you think something like XSwap could sort of take the cake from and steal a lot of the market share from like Uniswap and all these others since it's Is so it cross chain? Uh, it'll compete. I don't think it'll dethrone. Maybe. Oh God, that's a hard. That's a hard damn question. Yeah. Uniswap is a been a big deal in crypto for a long time imagine, so that's hard what what you got anna imagine an x integration what an x like on twitter crypto payments for x what if you could swap through directly X-swap? through x you can use your That'd crypto pay- you can Bro. earn crypto through monetization on x and then you can swap that using oh x swap <laughs> oh my god and, Elon, and then we chain link one percent of the, of the uh, transaction fees chain link <sighs> helps navigate the blockchain side of Neuralink. oh mm. you just got to go there i <laughs> neural I, I understand if you're quadriplegic or something and you're <laughs> your chair ridden i understand the excitement for Neuralink. mario kart uh, Mario, yeah, we saw a guy playing Mario Kart. He was having fun. Yes, he was that's in a why I want Mario Link. Um, so I can crush no, it that's so it. fire, Blue shell, bitch. He hasn't Blue been shell. able. He hasn't oh been able God. to play Mario Kart or like a video game in forever. I know it's really helpful that's for him, cool. man. I just feel like they're gonna try to standardize it for everyone. It's scary. You know what I mean? It's cool. It's scary. Um, do you know about Ori Chain? Variya Chain? No, O R A I. O R A I. O R A I. No, I haven't heard of it. Oh, it's it's literally a AI oracle. It's actually a project mm. worth looking into. I think okay. it's made some moves recently, but okay. okay, definitely playing into the AI narrative. See, and this is the realm I want to be playing in with where we're at in the markets right now. Like, and le- if you're already positioned and you have like you know your Bitcoin or your Chainlink or your Solana bags that are well positioned, this is the type of stuff that I'm looking at because I'm trying to get stuff that's like hundred x potential. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So, um, just watching that now. Back to tanks, Nicole Minister. <laughs> Tagged me in this absolutely beautiful uh, British tank. I need to dig in here to see what we're dealing with. 1961 <laughs> Daimler yeah. Ferret Oh, you're Mark. telling me it's a classic? This is very classic. Uh, <laughs> welcome sorry, to OG but... status. K-Day. Shout out to you. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So it ends in six days. Current bid, $6,700. I think we for need a... to throw in a bid for this. Bitch. First tank, that's a bargain. I'm this is a bargain. Like, that's... That is a bargain. That can come to my bunker, and, and to be know? fair, it's not a tank. Oh, yeah. It's an armored vehicle. Well, yeah. But, yeah. I mean, but for my house, this is a tank. And we're yeah. painting it. Yeah. I, well, pink. no. Pink. pink? No. What? Pink. No. We're not painting it pink. pink. I'm going to be, I'm gonna be have, in the driver's seat with oh my, my pink God. mug. It's going to have a pudgy <laughs> penguin sitting on it. Even the pudgy yeah. penguin one ha- was green, though, Hannah. The wheels were pink. Yeah. Not the damn it. I can't have a pink tank, Hannah. Yeah. It's, I mean, I mean, maybe pink with camo. Bitcoin, Bitcoin hubcaps. Yeah. We can do <laughs> Bitcoin, pink yeah, we just get seen from like eight, eighty miles away. What do you got? I got eighty ones. <laughs> They're spinners. <laughs> oh my god! I think I need to send in a, a bid on this thing. Maybe I'll try to cut up some uh, avalanche for this thing or something. It's got to be a World um, War II tank. Though. This would be, yeah. I think it's very old, nineteen sixties. So, oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, you know, more Vietnam era. You so know, you're telling classical. me it doesn't have Bluetooth? <laughs> no Bluetooth. No. <laughs> Bluetooth Drew will make question. every Costco run in that thing. Dude, oh my god. Like, be, uh, DZ was fudding this bag, saying I would like not be able to use it in the apocalypse. Man, I would much rather have a diesel engine in the apocalypse than a solar or a uh, lithium battery powered operational system. That's because I don't know how to solder electronics back together to the engineering degree it would require to fix them. But I do know how to fix old school <laughs> engines. Um, so, you know, I am, uh, I'm pretty damn bullish on this. I think I need to put in a bid for this one. Uh, but I probably, there's other options. Oh yeah. Let's, go, let's to, go check it out. I okay. Chat wants to okay. See more tanks, okay. Like, well, let's see what else we got here. Yeah, let's um, just search, just search in the top. Type well, no, they got military no, just, vehicles here. Yeah. I was going to say search armored yeah. vehicles. Get yeah. the, so that's the top one. I mean, that is just, dude, a, get the 1945 Willys and That's insane. Oh my God. 3k the, on this bid. This is disgusting. OG. Uh, punch. Okay. Wait a minute. Hold on. Uh, sold for 38 K. Not bad. Not bad. Sold for 21K. Gets you a feel for kind of what they actually sell for. Old school one right there. But this tank is the best looking thing or yeah. armored vehicle. It's like a oh, dude. Rack. The tractor. The, the stair, tractor. The Imagine that. Pooch. Zombie apocalypse. Crazy. What's that? The punk? The, the stair pooch. pooch. Ooh. Let's oh, check it yeah. out. You can drive in style with this bad Let's boy. Let's dig in. Sold this for 22. This is for all you Luna holders. Dude. Oh, <laughs> for all you Luna holders. <laughs> oh, bro. They can have like their little dancing parties with their furries on and yeah. everything. It's going to be great. Um, this is, yeah, sold for 22K. Six-wheel drive off-road troop carrier. It's just, you know. I hey, just, it's got 16s. 
It's got 16s, <laughs> but man, what a big target. You know, I'd much rather have the tank, dude. Like, yeah. well, the good thing is, if a tank shot, it could just fly through the gap. On what the if top. you, what yeah. if you just search? Can you search armored vehicle? Yeah, let's see. Armored. And, if, yeah. and then, armored. and then if, after this, go to Google and search used armored vehicles. Okay. I bet there's some pretty cool Oh, dude, ones. I've seen the Sequoias going for like 100K, but that was not. No. You what might have hell? to go to Google. Yeah, let's go to Google. Fine. Because I want to see. I bet there's some pretty cool used armor. Dude, vehicles. there's so many. Uh, you're gonna, the, you're gonna be so on a many. few watch lists after this. No, no I'm like, already, there. already there. We're already there, <laughs> baby. Come on now, we're already there. In the UK, um, you can actually buy tanks. You're like legally, you're allowed to own a tank. Really? Do yeah, it's just, just like the, 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 the the rifle. Yeah, the well, the gun is the same. Right. Uh, yeah. But you can apply for an FFL here in America and then uh, get your hands on some uh, those. Real spicy yeah. ones, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we don't you do it like that I'm over saying. there. No. Um, I'm gonna get some. I'm gonna get some soul emoji uh, guys. Type used at the beginning. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, fine. Yeah, because the new ones are hella expensive. But you know, you want to get a good bang for your buck. The armor. Um, group. There we go. This place is expensive, man. I've looked in. They armor what you have, or like you bring a vehicle to them, and then they armor it out. Uh, let's see <laughs> here. This is just. Ooh, here we go. Let's see. I'd love an armored vehicle. Incus. Just for the sake of it. Oh, dude, I mean, this is where the world's going. Like, the what do you think? The rest of the population is going to be facing supply chain shortages probably mm -hmm. in Baltimore and Washington, D.C. The World War III's cooking on. You're having to fly around the globe and stay a moving target so you don't get yeah. caught up in a big <laughs> freaking mushroom I'm cloud. Not, best, Guys, I'm not in any trouble. Yet. Somebody, <laughs> somebody said... Why? How come with you, Drew? How come all these links aren't already purple? Meaning that you, how come you haven't already been to all these? Well, it's, this is a work computer. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you uh, know, yeah. I try to, you know, I don't do this stuff all the time on this thing. Uh, let's see here: <laughs> cash and special purpose vehicles, armored SUVs. Maybe we'll check these out. Oof. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. That's I mean, pretty boring. yeah. This is like if I get a Sequoia, this is the process I'll go through. But this is going to cost me like two hundred thousand dollars. But first. God, I got to keep going with the crypto stuff here. There's a lot of news going on. Uh, this is why mail-in voting is a fraud, highlighted by Elon Musk. And honestly, if they do it again, we should probably all just stop paying taxes. Chinese banks are uh, experiencing the highest levels of bad loans they have ever had. This is great. China banks' bad loans climbed to record high as margin slumps. So you can expect nasty, nasty quantitative easing and printing, thus reducing your buying power either even further, stemming from China trying to fix its off the right off the train track, um, you know, system that's going on right Dude, now. Dude, coffee, coffee. Also, They're coming after coffee. I, no, no, but I'm sure. Did you also see the cocoa charts? Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Dude, cocoa charts look like oh, a yeah. meme coin. I know. It's yeah. like I know. What? This is next. Coffee hits an all time high. Robusta coffee just hit an all time high. First they take OJ, then chocolate. And look at that massive inverted head and shoulders. I know too. this thing has plenty of room to go <laughs> here. So um, we're going to need to stock up a lot more on coffee beans. Uh, very sad to see. Apple delays its foldable iPhone watch. Good to see because I don't care. And this is a theory that's been floated out there. Hear me out. Mm. Slowly puts on tinfoil hat. What if Robin Williams is still alive uh, and he's stop. actually the Argentinian president, Javier Malay? The potential is there, folks. The potential is there. Uh, very similar structure to the face there. Um, what dreams may come. My one of my favorite movies, uh, Robin Williams, uh, made What Dreams May Come. We've got to go just show the the thumbnail for this thing because this is one of the it's a very emotionally impacting film, uh, cinematic creation. So, What Dreams May Come, if you haven't seen it, uh, definitely recommend it. It definitely makes you appreciate life in the real here. Here's the uh, uh, thummy for it. Here's Robin Williams, just an absolutely stunning masterpiece. Uh, loved it. Loved it. Very sad to see uh, Robin Williams kill, him, kill himself when he did. One of my mm -hmm. favorite actors. Um, so that really sucks. Hey, Owen, where are we at on likes? Yeah, where are we at? If we can get to 120 likes, I got something special I want to share with the blockchain basement. It's a it's a gift for Mr. Drew himself, ah. but for the for the basement for the basement okay. accoutrement as okay. well. So everybody hit that like button uh, here in the next couple minutes, and okay. I'll get it at the end of the show. All right. Five minutes. Well, no, we got we have eight minutes on because we were late. That's the reality of the situation. Change a shot. What are you watching on your phone? 
This is insane. Oh, it's uh, Real Housewives oh, of Atlanta. Way. He's watching Real Housewives of Atlanta uh, while uh, flipping oh. a knife around. The yeah, Atlanta version's not the one. Unbelievable. He's about to end the stream on me. This is yeah. how the youth work. Drinking thing. grape soda. Oh, oh my go. God. All right. So after terminating 50,000 <laughs> public servants, Javier Malay intends to further terminate contracts for 70,000 more government workers. And I am erect. Malay is fulfilling his pledge to curb Argentina's extensive public spending and bloated government cost, and I love to see it. Now, this movement is not going to be for the faint of heart. It's going to get ugly. It's going to be tough. A lot of people are going to wonder, where the hell is all my free money? And the uh, show's coming to an end, folks. So yeah. just watch that. City of Oakland is now going after a 102-year-old man in a wheelchair. His crime, he was unable to remove the graffiti Fainted all over his home by thugs. Victor Silva Sr. faces a $1,000 fine plus an additional $1,200 in fines for each failed reinspection. I feel like that's a charge that should go directly to the city for not having freaking proper uh, police presence. 100%. 100%. Um, this is absolute tyranny, actual. You know, this is the Democratic leaders just allowing a complete overhaul of these dense city centers in, in you know we can get into the whole 70s influx of cocaine from the cia and the destruction of the family unit for certain demographics that have led to the absolute cataclysm that they are experiencing in today's age but i will be deleted from the internet if i go there so um what i can do is just highlight that this is bullshit we need to get out of city centers we need to stop paying these tyrants to continue the charade because it is affecting uh, old people, old men that just want to sit there and relax, but yet the city's coming after him because thugs are spray painting his house. What the fuck is going on? Um, now here's this: BlackRock tokenized fund garners mm. 160 million dollars in deposits in one week. Uh, just more interest in the tokenized assets, RWA realm. It's very undervalued so far, and that is going to be something I'm not fading. So that's why I'm talking about Ondo, working with BlackRock yeah. on these tokenized funds. This is where Ondo enters the chat and rips your face off when you are fading these things. So you just got to watch out. I know that things are up into the right right now. What you're looking for is healthy shelves. Over a billion dollars in U.S. Treasury notes has been tokenized on public blockchain so far. It is happening. Hmm. It is absolutely happening. This is the U.S. Treasury having the additional way to offload Treasury notes and keep the fiat Ponzi scheme rolling. They're going to utilize this avenue. They're going to keep their Ponzi going. They're going to start more wars. They're going to escalate more wars. And they're going to impoverish more people because that's what this government does. Now, Franklin Templeton, I'm sorry to get you worked up. You know well, what no, I mean? No, war I'm is propping up your economy right now. That's I know. the problem. It's disgusting. That's, it's such a it's toxic disgusting. cycle. Because, it is. It's you know. very disgusting, isn't it? It's very aggravating. Um, Ethereum, Franklin Templeton is more of, than a blockchain when Thank it comes to cryptocurrency. This is just insane to see Franklin Templeton highlighting stacks, Ethereum, obviously Bitcoin, but this is a pretty degenerate massive bank that I could see having a big play in what comes to Ethereum um, and some unsuspecting uh, layer one projects that they're probably going to start posting about in the near term. Um, here is a simplified explanation of runes, ordinals. And uh, this is from, I, I believe, one of the founders. Runes allow Bitcoin transactions to ETCH etch. mint etch. Yeah. Is that what they call this? You know, like when you etch something, like to like, kind of like inscribe. So uh, inscriptions. Okay. Yeah. So inscribe, mint, and transfer Bitcoin native digital commodities. <laughs> I was like, what was, the fuck is this? You thought it was like a tech Yeah. Is this, was this like uh, an ETCH? ETF? That's the word etch. ETCH? <laughs> Unbelievable. Whereas every, inspect, inter, oh God, whereas every inscription is unique. Every unit of Rune is the same. They are interchangeable tokens fit for a variety of purposes. Rune protocol messengers called Rune Stones are stored in Bitcoin transaction outputs. This is just the front end simplified version of what this Rune Stone thing is. It's a very new uh, concept that, I'm, that obviously I'm still trying to really grasp. What I do know is that institutions with trillions of dollars that are looking to get into something outside of Bitcoin or Ethereum, you know, the second layer of Bitcoin is going to be very hot. Well, um, think about it this way. Mark Mark Yusko said this, yeah. and it's spot on. Think about how big DeFi is on the Ethereum ecosystem and realize how many more users and addresses there are, uh, you know, active participants in Bitcoin. 100%. Bitcoin has the 100%. largest ecosystem, and it's completely untapped. And 
It's untapped, and we already have a roadmap that we know where people want uh, DeFi to work, what they can do. Uh, exactly. There's so many different things. It's laid out, and and where are they going to want? Where's big money going to want to put their stuff on the most trusted, secure blockchain out there, which is Bitcoin? Yep. 100%, man. That's just the overall concept I see rolling out. God, I look so bright. I look like an angel. In that. Whoa! What is it? What is this? This is for the recent wonderful growth what? and success of Blockchain Basement. What? Open what that up. That show, show, show that. Uh, we can put it on the wall or you can wear it. Okay. Okay. I saw it in the oh. store and I was like, this is Blockchain Basement to the oh, max. Let's see what we got here. Oh, what do we got? Bourbon. <laughs> bourbon, guns, and freedom. Bourbon, bacon, oh, guns. Bourbon, bacon, and guns, and freedom. I love that. All right, all right, all right. Hold on. Let's see here. There it is. That's bullish. Dude, this is like, one like more. my perfect shirt here. There's one oh, more thing in hold there. On. This, I'm like a kid in Christmas right now. Yeah. Unbelievable. Woo! Now read that. <laughs> now read it. Uh, a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Period. That is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I so love this. That's going to be your new drinking mug when you're I here on the basement. Aww. Dude, this is the mug. Keep crushing dude, it, dude. Dude, thank you, man. Um, appreciate that. Love. What store is this from? Oh, uh, that, I got that from uh, uh, Spencer's Gifts. No, no, I got it from. Uh, there was some spot in Ackworth I was in yesterday, okay. and I was okay. like, I walked, I saw that, I was like, this is like the blockchain basement. Dude, corner, I love right? this. Yeah, I love this. So Thank cute. you, Kelly. Very Absolutely. thoughtful of you, man. Very yes, cool. Um, hot damn! What a G! All right, I so. said hot damn! <laughs> if you guys haven't hit that like button, subscribed, and licked a frog yet, I don't know what you're doing. Yeah, Let's get you're it. messing up, man. You're messing now up kiss. if you haven't licked a frog. Uh, now kiss. Well, I'm not gonna kiss Kelly. <laughs> Come on, I'm not gonna kiss Kelly, <laughs> uh, dude. The uh, there was Johnny showed me this video game God of War that had like a homo scene in it. Like, why you gotta uh, interject a homo scene into a kid's video game? Like, what mm. the fuck is going on in this world? It's so weird, man. Like, just let kids grow up. If they want to just go, they go there to a Viking game to chop shit up with a axe. Like, they didn't come there to think about their feelings between one another after they've had six drinks. Um, very odd world we live in. But weird. <sighs> okay, so now three o'clock. Imagine coming out as a lesbian only to uh, start dating a woman and find out she has a. Oh, you know, we got to end the show. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> I mean, it's wow. nothing like. It Would just they be sucks that they're pushing it on kids, man. Like, you know, let the kids, just, you know, just grow up normally. Like, I didn't have to deal with this stuff. All of the psyops that are going on in mainstream media, like every commercial, it seems that there's, you know, 1% of the population is represented on all the commercials that we see now in mainstream media. It just makes you feel very like, you know, oh man, uh, it, it makes you feel very lost. I see that Meanless has fallen behind <laughs> in the election now, 56% saying no. And he's getting <laughs> modded at the same time. No. <laughs> oh, no. no. Is this election oh. fraud? I mean, let's no. use this as a mechanism to real. Maybe it's a, it's a signal that there can be a, some adjustments in, in, in the ooh-ooh-ness. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm going to put my vote in right now. I just put my vote in. Let's see where it, it, it moved the buck a little bit. Still losing 56%. Um, <laughs> man, man, man. No, you got so close. Someone you got so close. Away. He's getting timed out. Oh my God. Very bearish. Um, so yeah, you guys, you know, we there's love some you deep meanless. picks. Love you. Meanless. Love every single one of you in the chat. Um, sorry to the rumble crowd. The, the actual pop out chat wasn't coming over to us on the rumble stream, but I do believe we were able to punch out. All right, Daniel, night streams are coming back. I got the remodeling work done on my daughter's room. I got the sewing shop done for my wonderful, beautiful wife. And she is going to be, and she is so ecstatic to have it done. Um, so I will be able to night stream. The, only, the next big projects for me is chopping down tons of trees to make this insane. Uh, actually, I'm talking my wife out of the insane style fence. But I am building a pretty large fence out of my forest right now. So a lot of chainsaw, a lot of work. I got the boy out there with the axe getting after it. Oh. But uh, I can only do that till it gets dark. And uh, yeah, he plays baseball. So I got that going on. But everything around that, I'm, I see the availability to do late night streams. Come back up. I'm very excited about it. Love every single one of you, laser face, veteran crypto, Nicole Minas Tater, Michael King, the Deadwood, Mr. Mark, Bob from Accounting, R.A. Daniel, Shake and Bake, ready to hit the hot fire, and uh, Destruction X. Uh, absolutely appreciate every single one of you for coming out. 
today. Thank you for joining me, Leo. Uh, man, just giving us your heartfelt experience uh, on XRP and the rug that we all feel deep in our loins. Yeah. Uh, very good insight there, sir. I just exposed sir. the truth of what's going on Sorry. on there. You know? you know, the truth hurts sometimes. It does. Kelly, you're absolutely amazing. You gave me a gift. You come down here, drop an alpha, just making it rain, man. Appreciate you. Hannah, as always, you know, making me... Uh, May, you really helped me make sure I don't get banned off the internet. I will say that, Hannah, because I can like I can feel when I've gone. I'm getting close to going over the edge, and you're like, "Crypto, no, yep, don't do it, <laughs> don't do it." Let's you talk know, about crypto. so I Redirect. appreciate you know. Yeah, I really appreciate that, Hannah. Uh, Thank you. But love all you guys. We will see you tomorrow. I will be out Monday yeah. and Tuesday because I'm taking the boy out on a vacation for his birthday. It's his birthday today, so drop mm -hmm. a like in the chat or drop a, a comment. You know, hit the like button for my boy's birthday. He's turning six years old. He's growing up into a fine young man. I appreciate all you, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Goodbye. Adios, muchachos. Ooh, 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 ooh.